Welcome to Bruce Lee Central, the biggest Bruce Lee channel on the planet. When you think speed, you think Bruce Lee. Bruce is widely regarded as the fastest human to ever live, and with good reason. His body was sculpted with speed in mind. He trained every inch of his body with the sole purpose of developing his twitch muscle fibers. At his peak, Bruce had only 0.3% body fat. That's the same body fat percentage as eight-time Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman. Now, combine that with brutal accuracy, power, and skill, and you have the most incredible martial artist to ever live. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the top five times Bruce Lee proved he had superhuman speed. Number five. The time an audience member challenged Bruce Lee to a speed contest. An audience member was watching a Bruce Lee exhibition in California. He wasn't very impressed and decided he was fast enough to block Bruce Lee's punches. Bruce Lee invited the man down to the stage. What followed was complete humiliation. The audience member failed to block any of Bruce Lee's punches. Not a single one. Number 4. The time Bruce Lee used real nunchucks in Game of Death. Everyone told Bruce Lee he couldn't use nunchucks at high speeds consecutively and accurately for more than a second or two. Well, Bruce went on to prove everyone wrong when he used his nunchucks at high speed, consecutively, effectively, and accurately for six seconds. Even to this day, Bruce Lee is considered to be the only martial art nunchuck expert to have ever lived. Number 3. The time Karate Grandmaster Joe Lewis was taught a valuable lesson in speed and power. Joe Lewis tried to show Bruce Lee how effective and strong a karate punch can be. Bruce wasn't impressed and decided to show him how it's done. Well, the footage speaks for itself. Joe Lewis ended up becoming good friends with Bruce Lee after this exhibition. Number 2. The time Taki Kimura witnessed Bruce Lee's incredible speed firsthand and decided to instantly stop doing karate so he could become Bruce Lee's top student. Taki Kimura was invited by Bruce Lee to one of his exhibitions. Bruce wanted Kimura to see what Jeet Kune Do was all about with his eyes instead of just explaining it to him. Kimura went along, and boy was he in for a surprise. He was completely blown away by Bruce Lee's speed, and from that day decided to dedicate himself fully to Bruce Lee and to Jeet Kune Do. At 96 years old, Taki Kimura is still alive and Bruce Lee's longest living student. Number 1. The time Bruce Lee knocked Dan Inosanto down while he was in mid-air. Dan Inosanto and Bruce Lee had become good friends in the 60s, and Bruce Lee asked him if he wanted to have a sparring match with him at the upcoming Long Beach tournament. Dan Inosanto said yes, but to his surprise, only days before the match was to take place, Bruce said, It's not a normal sparring match. It's a real match because we will be wearing protective gear. Let's give the people a good fight. Dan Inosanto was surprised and begged Bruce to reconsider. Inosato wanted the match to be rehearsed and was nervous that something would go wrong. Bruce said, relax, it's going to be fine. Bruce didn't go all out during the match. In fact, he was taking it easy on Inosato. But for one small moment, Bruce showed everyone what he was capable of. The momentum of Inosato coming flying in combined with Bruce Lee's incredible accurate power punch was enough to send Inosanto down to the canvas, even with protective gear on. Without the gear, Inosanto would have had a very bad day.